Um, hi, so um, today we are doing another problem from top coder. This problem is called prime polynomial. Um, it's not really difficult, but it's a, it's a good problem um, to try. So uh, we have a prime number, which is an integer greater than one, and that has no positive divisors um, other than one and its top. So that's just the definitions of prime numbers. Um, and the problem says that it is known that no non-constant polynomial function, Pn, exists that evaluates to a prime number for all integer n. But there are some famous quadratic polynomials that are prime for all uh, non-integers less than m. And so the problem will give us just three numbers, a, b, and c, uh, and we should return the smallest non-negative integer m such that this formula here um, is not a prime. And so our job is just um, when given these three numbers, we need to return the smallest m, positive m, um, that is not prime, uh, that the, the smallest, sorry, m that makes this um, formula here not prime. So for 1 minus 1 and 41, um, it will return 41. Um, so let's try to do, let's see the, the, the implementation that I did for that. So I implemented it here in Java. And so we would get the three numbers, a, b, and c. And our goal is just to, ch to keep, so we can do it in a pretty, f um, so the solution that I did here is brute force solution. Um, why is that? Because if we look at the examples the problem gave us here, um, it's, they all are small numbers under 100. Um, so if we take a look here at the last one, the problem says the largest possible answer is this one. Which is which the result gives a 80, um, which is less than 100. So basically, this means that um, that that um, the number is relatively small. So we can just do a brute force solution, which means just keep trying m's until we find one that makes this formula not prime, and just return that. Um, so what we'll do is just we'll keep looping until we find that m. So we'll start m from zero and just keep increasing m until we find one that satisfies the fact that this formula here is prime. And once we do, we, once we find one that doesn't satisfy this formula, which means it's, this is not prime, we found the, the solution that we want. Um, and so the implementation of prime here, what it does is, I think there is an extra parenthesis that is not needed. Um, so the definitions of prime is pretty simple. We can just, this is a, a really easy check to do. Um, there are other ways, of course, to do it, but this one is the simplest. So we can just check if it's less than two. That means we have left one or zero. Um, so those are not primes. So we can just return false. Um, otherwise, we can just loop uh, until we hit the square root of n, the value that we want to check if it's prime, and check if that n is divisible by any number less than it. And if it is, then it is divisible by it, so it's not prime, we can just return false. Um, and if we finish these checks and we don't find any number that divides it, then that means it's a, it's a prime, so we return true. Um, so why square root here though? Um, so if we, if we say, say for example, if we have, um, if we have a number n, that is, if n not prime, um, that means that it can be factored in to be like, a multiple of two numbers that's basically the definition of a number that isn't prime a and b now if a and b both are if a and b both are uh, let's say if a and b both are bigger than the square root of n that means that means that a multiplied by b would be uh, bigger than n. So that can be. So that means that um, that means that at least one of these factors must be less or equal than the square root. That means that a and b must be like less than the square root of n. So that means that um, that means that to check if n is prime, we can only just test for factors less than or equal to the square root. 
Um, so we can just test four factors. What's the square root? Um, if we found some that that is divisible by a certain number, then it is not prime. If we don't, it is a prime, and um, that's enough. Um, now let's find on the examples that are, we have here that I've taken from from these here, and just see what we get. So we got 41 and 40, which match um, these two solutions here. Now the last part would be just to take this and go to Tapcora Arena and just um, submit that. So this should be good. Yeah, so we can compile this. Uh, run the tests. So we are good, and we can just submit this. And that's done for this problem. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.